All right, we're going to go with another mobile app review with some of those apps that pay you to play games. I've been putting this one off because I've been actually having problems with CoinPop lately, but I want to get this out. I wanted to group AppStation and CoinPop together like I did with Playwell and Daily Gift because of their um, similarities, and I'm equally confident that they're the same parent company. Oh, we'll go into AppStation first. Um, it's been a while since I actually opened either of these accounts, so I don't remember how the sign-up process goes, but I think it's pretty standard. And, all right, so with AppStation, you, you get you get introduced to this featured tab, and there are games that you can um, download to uh, collect to earn your coins, your coins which are up here. And uh, the coins get redeemed for your gift cards and PayPal or whatever. Pretty standard. Um, I also recommend with um, downloading the games, I would wait till the weekend to do that because um, they have gold offers where everything is double the coins. Um, and it seems to maintain that double if you downloaded it at that value. Uh, rather than just playing it on the weekend. It's based on when you download it. All right, uh, we can go to my apps. I got quite a few here. You'll notice a lot of these. I got a lot of them that just say play X amount of seconds to earn X amount of coins. And once you get up to around 20,000 seconds, it, it escalates like uh, similar to Mist Play and, and some of the others where... You'll start out and you'll play for like 60 seconds to earn 100 coins. And then you'll play 300 seconds to earn 125 coins. So the, the, um, the time investment gets longer and longer and longer at a much faster rate than the increase of coins does. And usually after around 20 to 25 hours of playtime, unless you really like the game, it's just it's not worth it to pursue the time goal for the coins. But like I say, you might find a game you like and it doesn't feel like a chore to play it. And you're not playing it for the, the, the cash incentives, which is awesome. I think that's kind of how they want you to discover games, but like that's their way of making you continuously upload more and more, or download more and more games. Um, keep, a, keep an inflow of new stuff coming. And you can tell I have quite a few on here. I've been at this for a while. Um, but for the most part, AppStation is mostly time-based rewards, how much time you put into the game. Well, CoinPop is mostly um, game accomplish in-game accomplishments rewards. You achieve certain goals or pass certain levels within the game and you get rewarded. There are a few exceptions to each and, and they both kind of had some crossover with those. But as a general rule of thumb, if you just want to be rewarded for your time, AppStation is the way to go. If you want to be rewarded for in-game accomplishments, CoinPop is the way to go. Now, I've had about three weeks of problems with CoinPop. Uh, and I don't know if they're going to get it fixed. I don't know if it's on my end or what the deal is. But we'll get to that when I get to the CoinPop uh, thing. But it's pretty self-explanatory. Once you, once you get into AppStation, you can pretty much figure out how it goes. Uh, here's my invite link. I'm going to post my invite link here just to, uh, let's see here. I'll receive 250 coins for every friend, and additionally I'll receive 20% of all coins my friend earns, and my friend will receive 25% of all the coins I earn. So yeah, let's do this. I'll uh, post my invite link in the comments below. Sign up with that. I, I think I like that idea. Uh, for payouts, i got these special offers and all sorts of gift cards. They have Venmo. I didn't realize they had Venmo. I might do Venmo in the future. Um, and then they got uh, PayPal, which is what I've the only one I've ever used here. Um, you can see I've got a few. I'm up to ten dollars worth. I'm getting close to the fifteen and twenty. And there's a slight. Um, here's one of those things that makes me almost certain AppStation and CoinPop are the same company. And there's a couple other reasons too, but they both have the exact same coin value for the dollar amount. 
if you live in the U.S. and you see this $10, $15, $20, note that this is a European company and they pay out in euros. And you're not actually, if you go through the PayPal route, I don't know how, I don't know how it'll work with gift cards, but if you go through the PayPal route, they'll pay out in euros. And if you select to, you know, have it converted into U.S. currency, it's going to be, I don't know if it's because of the exchange rate that fluctuates or if it's because if there's fees that I'm not aware of for changing international currency. Uh, but it's going to be about 2 to 5% less than what you actually redeem it for. Uh, that's kind of a bummer and a shock when you when you see it. But if you know that going in, it's it's less brutal. Far less brutal. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. When you go to the payout screen, it'll ask you to confirm your your details. And I'm sure the first time you set it up, there's, as I don't remember, there's probably a couple extra steps to set up set it up. Uh, but once you get it set up, it's like one or two one or two taps get you there. Um, but yeah, for the most part, I like AppStation. It works pretty good. Um, My biggest frustration is the the rate at which you know you you play a game for twenty hours you you're starting to decide if you like it or not and now you're not getting you're not getting any coins for it well you are but it's you're pip, you're playing for an entire day to get the equivalent of a, a few cents as opposed to when you start you're getting like a few cents every couple of minutes um. So yeah, that's that's App Station. It's good. It's got that cute little raccoon. Coin Pop has this adorable gold bear. Absolutely adorable. But it hasn't worked for me for several weeks now. And it's frustrating. Ooh, they got gold deals for the next 2,413 days. Um, so you'll be greeted on, on the deal screen. And if you tap these three bars up here in the upper left... You get uh, your menu, featured my apps, your friends, profile. There's also one of these on AppStation, but I f AppStation has that bottom taskbar, that toolbar that um, is more useful, I feel like. This uh, coin pop uh, only has the three bars on the upper left corner. You can go featured my apps. You can see what I've downloaded. I think I've already uninstalled all of these because they just aren't giving me the rewards. But you can see there's a couple of them that are play for a certain amount of time, but most of them are finished the next level to get the coins. Accomplish these tasks to get the coins. And I just, I got frustrated because I would get the, I'd get the bubble pop-up notification saying, congratulations, you passed level whatever in coin pop and earned 218 coins but then i go to my coins and my last my last acknowledge the last acknowledgement i've gotten was two months ago i got 570 coins for whatever block jam accomplishment i got and they just stopped like, I'd get the notification saying I got the coins, but the coins haven't been credited to my account, either on the list or in this thing, uh, in my total up here. It's not re um, reminiscent of that. So, I I looked up the FAQs, and they say it may take a while to... <laughs> may take a while to uh, for your rewards to appear. Well, I... I think nine weeks is beyond a while, I think they... I don't know. It's it's probably about three thousand coins that I'm I'm missing. But I just stopped playing because they stopped awarding, and I'll I'll probably try again every now and then just to see if they get it fixed. But the FAQ for us, you know, the 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 support is not very good. They just give you they just give you the same stock answer for everything. If you click on the dollar sign, obviously that gets you to the payouts, and you can see it's dang near identical to. App station in that regard, um, but yeah, Coin Pop when it works, it's good. Uh, maybe you 
want to try it and have better success than me, see if you have better success than me, that's perfectly fine. Um, invite friends? Oh, I'll throw my invite link here too, but I don't know how many of you are going to jump on this. You're going to get 25% of all the coins that I earn and vice versa, but if I'm unable to earn any, you might not be motivated to use my invite link, but I'll throw both my invite links down below and maybe I can... <laughs> Maybe I can get a recruit. Uh, what else? Yeah, profile info and help your friends in print transfers, privacy. Yeah, all, all the standard stuff. But as a general rule of thumb, um, AppStation is more time, more of a time reward, and Coin Pop is more of a in-game accomplishment reward. There are counterexamples to to both of those. Uh, I like AppStation better. Not because I'd rather be rewarded for my time than for getting good, but because it it doesn't tell me I earned coins for accomplishing something that I actually accomplished and then just fail to deliver them to me. So That's my take on these two. They're they're fine. They're fine. Alright. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you next mission. I'm probably going to... These little spur-of-the-moment app reviews. I'm probably going to go to... What am I going to do next? Um, I don't know. And a few other apps. And then I want to get into some of the survey sites, too, because I have things to say about them. But... Uh, Whatever. All right. Thanks for stopping by. See you next mission.